Hey, what's up mga bees? So for this video, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa derivative of polynomial functions. Alright, so before we can proceed to solving derivative of polynomial functions, we need to understand first, what do we call the power rule? Uh, we, we will use the power rule for this... Uh, for solving uh, derivatives of uh, polynomial functions. Okay. Basically, guys, ang concept ng power rule, when we have a certain term, to get the derivative of that, what we need to do is, let's say, we have an x, di ba? We have a term x raised to n, no? Here. Para makuha yung derivative, this sign d over dx stands for derivative, guys. To find for the derivative of x raised to n, what we need to do, guys, is, yung exponent natin ay magiging coefficient. So, magiging n, x. Now, yung exponent natin, guys, magma-minus lang tayo ng 1. So, that's n minus 1. Okay, let's have an example. For example, let's say we have x raised to 4. Find the derivative of x raised to 4. Basically, guys, para makuha yung derivative niyan, yung, coefficient, yung exponent magiging coefficient. So, magiging 4x. Tapos, yung exponent natin, guys, Magma-minus tayo ng 1. 4 minus 1, it's 3. Alright? So, the derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cubed. Uh, another example, let's have, uh, let's have x raised to, let's have x raised to 10. x raised to 10, ang derivative niyan, guys, is 10x raised to 9. Alright? Tawag dito. How if we have a fraction, let's say, x raised to 1 half x raised to 1 half, basically, it's the same process, guys. Yung buong exponent, ito yung magiging coefficient. So, 1 half, x. Tapos, yung uh, exponent natin, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Minus 1, ibig sabihin, that's x raised to negative 1 half. So, simplifying this, we have x raised to negative 1 half over 2. At para maging positive yung ating uh, derivative, uh, para maging positive yung exponent, dalhin natin siya sa denominator, ito magiging 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half. And x raised to 1 half is also the same as 1 over 2 square root of x. Alright? How if they let you find the derivative of uh, constants, like for example, 7? Always remember, guys, that yung derivative ng constant natin ay equal yan sa 0. Constant numbers like pi. The derivative of pi is 0. Seven, uh, the derivative of 1 is 0. Alright, guys? Kasi, explaining that, let's say, for example, we have 7. Let's, for example, the 7. Ang 7, guys, wala yung variable, di ba? So, let's assume na 7x raised to, zero, raised to 0 because x raised to 0 is equals to 1. 1 times 7 is the same, di ba? Now, we apply the rule. First, ang, ang 0, ay yung exponent is magiging coefficient. So, magiging, separate muna natin yung 7. That's 7 times 0, x. Tapos yung uh, exponent natin magma minus 1, so magiging negative 1. Pero, 0 divided by times any number is equal to 0. So, you basically, this will become 0. So, yun. Uh, please note of the power rule. So, let's try solving some polyno derivative of polynomial functions. Alright. So, let's solve for the derivative of this polynomial function. Okay. So, let me... Solve f prime of x. f prime of x is uh, the same as solving the derivative of this certain function. It's another way to represent aside from d over dx. Alright? So, ngayon, let's solve this. Kapag nag-solve tayo ng polynomial function, guys, we we use the power rule. Now, we use the power rule. Ang kaibahan lang, term by term natin siyang i-evaluate. Okay? So, let's start. Let's start with the first term. It's 7x raised to 4. Yung 7, mariretain doon. Now, yung exponent natin magiging coefficient. So, that's times 4. Yung, that's 4x. 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay. Next, plus 3, mariretain yung dating coefficient. Yung exponent magiging coefficient. So, derivative of 3x cubed is 3x squared. Tama ba? Tama. Plus, x squared, derivative of x squared is 2x. Kasi yung natira is 2 minus 1, that's 1, kahit huwag na natin ilagay. And again, derivative of constants is 0, so plus 0. So let's just simplify. 7 times 4 is 28x cubed plus 3 times 3, that's 9x squared plus 2x plus 0. So basically, the first derivative of 
the function, this is equal to 28x cubed plus 9x squared plus 2x. Why did I say first derivative? Because when we say derivative, guys, you can solve the derivative how many times? So we can solve for the second derivative, for the third derivative, alright? So, depende sa tanong kung anong uh, pang ilang derivative yung gusto niya. So let's try solving for the second derivative. Solving for the second derivative, we derive the derivative of the first derivative. So, ito, magiging 28 times 3x squared, alright? I hope you're getting the concept. Plus, na 2x plus 2. Bakit 2? Kasi, that's, uh, rate, yung exponent na 1, malalagay dito. So, 2 times 1, tapos yung x, guys, x 1 minus 1 is 0. So, maging x raised to 0 is 1, kaya naging 2 yon. So, basically, this is the second derivative. If you want to go on, that's okay. You can find the second derivative, third derivative, fourth derivative. But for now, let's just solve for the first. Another problem out here. Last problem. So, sabi ko nga, expand yung muna yung, expand yung muna kasi naka-square siya. Expand yung muna siya before you proceed solving, alright? So, expanding this binomial theorem, that's x squared plus 4x plus 4, alright? So, let's now solve for the f prime of x. Solving for the f prime of x, the derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative if the derivative of 4, 4x is equal to 4. And the derivative of 4 is 0. So, we have 2x plus 4. So, here is the first derivative. Alright, guys? So, always remember that the derivative of constants, especially pi, is equal yan sa 0. So, when we have... A function 2 minus pi when we when we will solve for a derivative of this derivative of constant is 0 derivative of pi is 0 so 0 minus 0 the answer of this is 0 all right so that's it mga bis please like share and subscribe ay uh, nauna po yung pagdi-discuss natin sa derivative because we will use this for the uh, l hospitals rule i think yeah parang ganun so if you found the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Share it to your friends. That's it. Bye-bye. Mga bees.